up guys welcome back once again it is me malt so happy to be here with you guys uh, as many of you guys know i was over in finland recently i was hanging out with rovio and finland guys is the mecca for mobile gaming so while i was over there um i hung out with some people from rovio i also hung out with some people from next games and they are the creators of this game called compass point west it's a western style um strategy game like all of us are used to playing but check this out so you can scroll in down to a different level, guys. And these graphics are, are sound. They're sound. But there are a lot of things in this game that are different from other games like it. Uh, one of my favorite things is the fact that there are cards. Um, so there's like pack openings. Everybody loves pack openings. You have uh, case openings in CSGO. You've now got advanced supply drops in Call of Duty. Um, you've got... Uh, things in World Domination, you've got all these different games, Hearthstone that uses pack openings, everything like that, and this one has it as well. So, uh, first of all, just the basics of it, guys, it's a Western uh, exploration, base building strategy game, alright? So, uh, you have a map over here in the bottom right corner, as you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty freaking sweet, and you need to use the Pony Express to explore. So, I'm going to click right here, explore, yeehaw, you can see the pony head out there. Open up that area for me. We can go over here. We can explore. Yeehaw! <laughs> and the pony's going to head out there. And we get to go and um, attack those people. Alright? So, or we can head on back home. And we can look at some, um, some other things about the game that I really, really like. Like I was saying, the pack opening. So, first of all, here on the right side, when you click on the gun, you can see your uh, character. So, these are the people that I have as my characters right now. Nice! So you can um, get different, there are different levels. So we have the regular gunslinger, the rugged gunslinger, and then we have the veteran gunslinger down at the bottom. And once you get four of um, a regular or rugged, you can click on it, you can merge it, and you can get one veteran. You have to use your resources. Yes, I'll go ahead and use those diamonds that I have, um, and it will turn him into a veteran gunslinger so on and so forth guys and there are a lot of characters we've there's there's so many more it says like on the top right you can see sidekick unlocked at saloon level seven so we'll head on back we'll show you what the saloon is so the saloon's kind of like the town hall of other games uh it says round up sidekicks at the saloon upgrade the saloon to unlock more yep so that's where they're all hanging out they're drinking having a good time um, and then you have your courthouse as well. You have all these different buildings. You've got your farm. You've got your barn. You've got your bank to store all your gold and whatnot. Um, and we're going to go ahead and open a couple packs so you guys can see what that is like. Um, they sent me over some diamonds so that I could show you guys without us having to wait or anything. Just so y'all can get a good idea of what the game is like um, as it launches or as it launched today. If you guys want to download it, check out the link in the description down below. Um, and you guys can go and download the game there and try it out, alright? But we'll go ahead and we'll open this one. I'll show you guys what we're talking about. So, boom, there we go. Look, that gold one, that's what we want to see because that is the veteran. So, right now, all we're going to be getting is gunslingers. Um, we might have a chance to get <clears throat> some other ones, though. Uh, it's just at this point, since we haven't upgraded our thing, we're not necessarily able to. So, we're definitely going to get that uh, 49er right here. He's really, really cool. He throws dynamite, uh, which is awesome. But with your resources... Uh, up here, you have uh, you have goods and you have gold. So I just clicked on my goods in the top right. It says your town gets 690 goods per hour. Your farm produces 570 goods. Liberated farms send 120 goods. Your barns can store 20,000. So that's pretty cool that you can click on that. You can click on your gold as well. And this cute little lady comes on out and tells you what's going on. But we're going to go ahead and open up a regular pack, guys, as well. And um, We'll open that deck right there. It's going to pop up right here and spread out, and we will click on it and see what we get. So you can click on the little eye in the top corner. This one says you can use it to speed up construction, which is really, really cool. Uh, <clears throat> this one has 3,500 goods in it. Nice. And this one right here, use this card to speed up recovery. So as your troops need to heal, um, you can use that as well. So I'm going to go ahead, and uh, since I have a bunch of diamonds, I'm going to go ahead and get this one right here. And then we'll see what else we get from this so we can go ahead and get another rugged tin man we'll go ahead and take him and then let's head on back to our map guys and then i'll show you uh, a little bit of stuff when it comes to uh rating and things of that sort so let's go ahead and um collect we're gonna head back out to the map and we are going to go over to uh well, where should we go let's go right here let's go to the marble canyon oh i don't well whatever 
<laughs> I just need to fill up my uh, gold or whatever. Um, but we'll get some from attacking right here. So here's how it works. Destroying outlawed camps will get you an extra deployment zone. So the way this game works is there are zones where you can deploy your troops, which is kind of cool. So right now, all right, yep, so we understand that. Um, you can see right now, this is where you have to deploy your troops, down here, okay? But if I get all the way up here, and your goal is to destroy this oil. So the whole story is this guy's coming in to the Wild West, and he's trying to take all the farms and take all of the town so that he can get oil. So our goal is to destroy that so that he can't get it. I love that storyline behind there. It's super cool. Um, and then down here at the bottom, you can see that little number eight. And then you can see the value of each of these cards. So we're going to go ahead and grab our gunslingers. One, two, three, four. Four, and then we'll grab a tin man drop him off and then now you can see we have to destroy some buildings now before we can do anything else so our gunslingers are owning these guys they're working their way around we have to oh no we have to destroy some buildings first if we're going to be able to just uh deploy any more troops so our gunslingers are up here uh, our tin man who is actually our tank is down there messing around our gunslingers are finally heading up here but watch we're going to go ahead and drop this we're going to click on this flag and we're going to call all them over here so our guys are going to leave there. That guy's going to lose his aggro over there. We're going to head right on over here. Our Tin Man is getting owned, but it's okay. We can now deploy since we just, uh, did we just destroy something? No. So we're going to drop off two of our uh, 49ers. They're going to come in, and they're going to throw some TNT. Watch this. Ah, oh, we missed it. All right, but we can still deploy some more people. We'll drop off a Tin Man with them, and we'll drop off one more 49er who's going to head up. Um, and the zoom on this, look at that. Whoa, the canyon actually gets in the way. That's awesome. So they're heading in. Now watch this. Once we destroy this camp, um, then we'll be able to deploy there as well. So they're going to go ahead and take that out. Once they take that out, look at that. They're throwing TNT at it, blowing it up. So now we can deploy another gunslinger right in here. Blow everything up. Now we can deploy even more stuff. We're going to throw off another one of those um, 49ers, and they are going to do some serious AoE damage. Now the cool thing about 49ers, guys, is they actually do AoE damage to uh, multiple buildings so if you want to be able to deploy more of your troops then you got to pay attention to what's going on and uh, you need to use them if there's a bunch of buildings close together that you can take out so um, we'll go ahead and explore right here looks like that's gonna open up a big area for us look at this what's right here nice we got some diamonds from that cool um, so we'll go over to uh, Rocky's farm we'll attack that bad boy um, and see how we do so use the rally ability to move your sidekicks to a new target that was the thing i was just showing you guys a second ago we'll go ahead and just use all of our gunslingers this time and we'll drop off one of these other guys and uh let's have them head right wow this map looks crazy let's have them head right here uh yeah we're gonna have them all head right over here they're gonna rally up right there um and they're gonna destroy that little building for me there we go now we can deploy one more of those guys and we have two more rally flags. Let's go ahead and drop them off over here. Um, nope, get away. Nice. So we're going to drop those off over there. You can see that our 49er is working his way over. These guys are coming over. We're taking them out. And then we're going to take out these buildings so that we can deploy some more people. And it looks like that might be a camp. No, that's not a camp. So this guy doesn't have any camp. So the only place that we can deploy right now is down at the bottom. But that's okay because... We don't really need to uh, to deploy much more. Watch this guy. He's hilarious. Look at him. <laughs> he scoots around on a Gatlin gun and owns people, which is hilarious to me. So he didn't even get to uh, help the team out because we made it over to that oil drill and we were able to conquer it. You can see you win gold, you win goods, and you also win minus 20 minutes to a card draw. So you're drawing cards a lot in this game. And as you level up and you can get more cards, it's really, really cool. So we actually uh, won a minus 15 minute card draw. Nice. So another minus 15 minute card draw. So now it's only an hour until we can draw cards again, which is really, really cool. I love the fact that they um, throw that in here. What's this? So this one looks like, I wonder what that question mark is above it. I think that might mean that you can get some cards from it. But uh, we'll go ahead and drop off a couple, uh, one tin man and then one, two, three, uh, four gunslingers to hang out behind him. And they're going to head right in here. They're going to take out this building for us. And as they do that, then we'll be able to deploy a couple more troops. It looks like one of the enemy guys is coming in. But as you get up in higher levels, guys, you get more troops. You get crazier maps. You get all this kind of stuff. And I'm super, super stoked about it. We're just going to drop our rally flag right over there. Uh, for them to go and attack that and uh, once we take that out and that's going to be done obviously that was only a level three so that wasn't too hard 
Uh, that wasn't too hard to battle. But we'll go ahead and explore a little bit more on our map as well. Uh, let's pick the second one. Nice, plus 30,000 goods. What? That was a veteran card. I don't even think that I can hold that much. Yeah, so our barns are full. Um, that's the farm, so we need to upgrade our barn. So we're going to... Oh, no, courthouse needs to be level 7. What's our courthouse at now? Level 5. Player level 9 required. So we got to raid a little bit before we can hold any more goods. So we're going to save that card, guys. And that card is actually sitting right here. Um, so you can see... If I go here, then I can get uh, plus 500 gold. Let's just go ahead and do that. So I drew that one earlier. And then we have this right here. Activate minus 15 minutes for an upgrade. Nice. And then that is there as well. So the game's really cool, guys. I hope you all will give it a try. Again, it is in the link in the description down below. I'm going to be playing this a little bit. We'll probably post another video on it. Um, and you guys can check up on how uh, Molt's Western Wild Town is doing. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and you play on for me, right? See you guys. Peace.